Do you we think that stag and hen do's have got completely out of control? Yes, yeah. they are. I mean, clearly, in this recent news story proves it. They are debauched occasions, and probably I can't think of the, anything worse than starting <laughs> married life, regardless of actually the marriage bit, going on such a sort of carousel as as a stag or a hen. I have a blanket policy that any friends or family members that invite me, I just will not go. Wow. <laughs> because I will friends be the party family members. But Yes, yeah. whether my brother was getting married, I'm not going. It's a blanket policy. Do people have these parties uh, the night before they get married? Stag dudes have always happened since the beginning of time. Yeah. Even the spark. Well, hang on, hang on. Just to, to, is it the night before? Because you don't really want to have your wedding day feeling so terribly happy. Uh, originally, it used to be the night before. Going back even to Spartan times, they used to celebrate the end of the youth and, you know, going into marriage. Right. They used to celebrate with their comrades and the soldiers. And, yeah, they used to just have a good time, enjoy yourself. You, you know, it's always been well, the same. Well, let's just work out what, what actually happens at a stag do. I ask this because I've <laughs> never been to one. <laughs> no, well, I don't think you're missing anything. <laughs> okay, fine. But, but what, what actually happens? Well, a stag is the actual. It's like a terminology, a stag's the leader of the pack. Right. So the leader of the pack goes out, he's got his lads with him, and it's just to go out and have a good time, to enjoy yourself. It's one last hurrah before you get married, before the shackles are on, you want to go out. That's the wrong message, though, the shackles. What, what do you actually do to have a good time? It, it, it's totally up to yourself. Everything's different. I mean, everybody's got different things to enjoy doing. You don't have to go out and get absolutely blasted to have a good stag do. Oh. Things are changing now. People are going all over Europe. They're going to places like Berlin. They're going to Bruges. But no stag or hen do's. They do, they do get rather drunk, don't they? Yeah, but a lot of these stag and hen do's, they're based abroad. You Why, know, though? Why not... do we have to go abroad? It's, it's all geared up. All these places are geared up for lads to go out. Everything, basically, now is all-inclusive, so these... You know, gentlemen are going out, and it's it's an all different industry out there. They've built up an industry, and they rely on those people to ha go out. Has there. anyone ever had a sober, completely alcohol-free stag night? Oh, I'm sure. Well, well yeah. Well, sure I were. I went. So one of my very good friends from school uh, mm. got engaged last year, and he he said to me, "Would you like to come on the uh, the stag? We'd love it if you could come." They were going to Munich, yep. and I said to his face, "I said absolutely not." But what I did do is I said, "But." You know, we are very good friends. I will take you on the alt stag, as I called it. And so we went for dinner at the Ritz. And it was much more civilised than whatever they got up to in, uh, in Munich. I mean, I think it's nice to have a big party and a celebration, but I think now it's like, rather than just one night before the wedding, perhaps, mm. it turns into a long weekend. Mm. And I think people don't really think about the consequences. Mm. When they're living in the moment and there's yeah, yeah. alcohol fueled over, like, two, three, four days, the consequences, you know, that's the word, because... I think that, anything... can, I think that can happen anywhere at any time, that's nothing to do with a stag do. You put a group of lads together that want to go out and enjoy themselves and mm. have a drink. It's nothing to do with a stag do. It can happen in Bradford, Benidorm, it doesn't matter where you are in the world or what occasion. You, you know, trouble can, happen, trouble can happen anywhere. Talking of Benidorm, I, I was filming there yeah. last year and um, staying in a hotel and, yeah. you know, I have to get up early because I've got to go filming. But about four in the morning, um, on the left room next to me, uh, all of the stag boys came back and yeah. and on the right of me, all the hen party came back. <laughs> oh, so I was a sort of sandwich between two stag evenings, <laughs> which was kind of interesting. No more sleep. So I, I either get up and join them, yeah. didn't know which one to turn, You've which one to get to. You know I exactly where you were. I chose <laughs> the hen, obviously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but, you know, that, I can see it gets kind of out of control. But why, why? And was there any trouble, though? The, the, the no, there wasn't any trouble. There wasn't and any trouble. And you never hear about the stag dudes and the hen parties that go brilliantly. And yeah. everyone have a brilliant good time. Yeah. You hear about the odd ones, but, the ones But these two. hotels, you know, in Benidorm, they, I imagine they rely on, on yeah. stag evenings. I've lived in Spain. I've, I've been out there, I've worked on the doors, I've been lucky enough to, to be around this environment for a long time. And all, all the staff, from the hotel staff to the cleaners to the families, they rely on us. Mm. I mean, well, I mean, this such income. a shame that they are having to rely these these you know perfectly lovely places in yeah. Spain, Greece, yeah. wherever you're going. That they actually have had to go. Actually, yeah. we're going to sell out. We won't, no. sort of, and we will cater to the drunk, dope, disorderly no, brigade it's, who it's, are going to come and, and behave well, business. It's nothing, it's nothing to do with that. These lads that go on the stag do's and go abroad to do it, they will stay here. They'll work extra shifts, they work mm. nights, they work weekends, mm -hmm. so, and they're boosting our economy to do that. And then we'll take our money and we'll go stick it in the Spanish economy, which is struggling in so many ways. I've lived in Spain and our economy and their economies are totally different. So it's a sort of mercy it, stag night, really, isn't it? You're paying, you're helping the other economy. That's, it's a win-win situation. Win -win and, situation. And believe it or not, <laughs> they love the British. And I'm sick of people telling me that when British go ab abroad and they have their drinks and the ruckus, it's not like that. But what All about when you get to the airport and it just it starts straight away, doesn't it? And, and then you get on the plane. And that's where it affects other people as yeah. well. Yeah. Sometimes... yeah, but that can happen here at a concert. You go into a concert, you're going away for the weekend here, you meet the lads, it starts but you're on a, a plane, weekend away. You can't get away from 
nightmare, and it's just... It's... You, you, so, you William, what would you do? How would you deal with this? What, what's your, your advice? Uh, I would... I, for airline, because all these stays have to take place somewhere abroad now, you, you know, you can't do it domestically now, uh, I would probably, if I were an airline, whether it was a budget one or, or sort of a, a more standard airline, have certain routes that if you are going on a stag, you have to go on that plane, because it's when you are... I work in Amsterdam quite yeah. a lot, and you get on the plane and it is, you know, there are clearly those that are trying to work, that are going mm. over for work, and those who have started celebrating in the airport at whatever oh. o'clock, and it's affecting our ability well, to do our preparation idea. work. That's a good so, idea, I think. Split them up. Have a stag airline. Stag, yeah. airline. stag, airline. stag airways. Does that doesn't sound good it's, name it's, it's, I know certain people, you know, like my good friend William here, it's, it's not for everybody. I understand that, yeah. but... You can't tar a whole group of people and a whole no, industry just that. based on a couple of lot of stag do's go out and they leave and they go, thank you so much. Well, we're never, we're we're never going to agree. We have to agree to disagree, but we're never going to... There's two sides to this. One is people having a great time and other people saying, please, can you be quiet? Please, I'm in the please, can you be quiet camp slightly, but that's maybe my age. Mm. We'll have to anyway, be stressed, thank you both very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.